Okay, so um, here's our diagram, our system diagram of a um, a food chain. Um, what we've got here, so here we've got the sun coming in, and remember, not all of the sun reaches the plants, but some of it does, but not all of it is used in photosynthesis. Um, some of it's the wrong wavelength, some of it might get reflected or transmitted, passing straight through the leaf. So this is C, not used in photosynthesis. Okay, and then we know that some of it gets used in respiration. So whether you're a plant or an animal, you have to pay your taxes in respiration um, so that you can actually get the energy out of the food. So we lose some there. And then the rest of the energy is going to be passed on to herbivores, whether they eat it after the plant dies or they eat it whilst the plant's living. Um, those are the roots, um, not the actual roots of, like, roots, the roots of the energy flow. Um, and of course, they could be passed to decomposers as well, which is right here. F. Gross primary productivity, that's the, the gross part, gross means big, remember, so that equals the net productivity plus respiration. So the gross primary productivity is the amount, it's like the amount that you get paid, so this is the overall amount of energy that it gets, um, and then that is equal to the net productivity, so the amount that it gets in the bank account, and the losses to respiration, so the amount that it pays in taxes. So that means that um, it is um, here, gross primary productivity is, in fact, so it's the amount that's being produced without losses to respiration, but it doesn't include the sunlight that it never uses, so we're looking at B minus C. Okay? Um, B minus C. We're not subtracting R because R is part of GPP. So B minus C, so that is answer A.